Warning, the voices heard in this video are made synthetically using artificial intelligence. Nothing in this video reflects anything actually stated by the real life individuals involved. This is entirely satirical for entertainment purposes and actual political content is avoided for that reason. Please enjoy. All right, Obama, I get it. I'm just saying the real you is black. So it can't be that wrong if Dilzan makes you say the N word. No, Donald, you racist piece of shit. The N word just needs to be avoided completely. I don't even know why we're talking about this. Okay, on one hand, yes. Racism is cancelable material that can get us taken off YouTube entirely. Exactly my point. But on the other hand, it is funny. That is a good point there. What the fuck? Thank you, Joe. No, that is not a good point at all, Joe. All right, all right, fine. But can I at least pose a little thought experiment here? As long as you keep it PG and that you promise we do an intro when you're done. What the hell was all that? All right, deal. So here it is. Obama, you naturally have the N-word pass given the color of your skin, correct? Uh, correct, I guess. Whereas Joe and I do not have the pass given the color of our skin, correct? All right, correct. Donald, your skin color gives you the O-word pass. <laughs> so hypothetically speaking, which is worse than if the editor is white and makes Obama say the N-word, or if the editor is black and makes me or Joe say Are it? we seriously taking like a month-long hiatus from video production and this is the conversation we're having to start the episode? Uh, yes. That's quite the thought experiment, Donald. Oh, hey, look, Donald, you're in the game. How ironic. Joe, you fat phobic piece of shit. This guy is literally sleeping and gives you the TM for rest. If anyone, that guy is you, not me. All right, not the ideal change of topic, but definitely preferred over some edgy N-word discussion. Joe, Obama, keep that edgy shit to yourself, bro. Joe, that's not what he said, you dumbass. Just play the game. All right, anyway, viewers, welcome back to our president's play Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Last time I led us through the magma hideout shit and got our fully evolved starter. This time, Joe is gonna take us through the aqua hideout and hopefully end up in Moss Deep for Donald next time. All right, what the fuck is happening here? This guy's talking about jacking off a submarine. Oh my God, Joe, Obama please. is talking about edging. Can you all please chill out? Joe, you can't be serious right now. He said the boss has gone to jack a submarine, you know, like, to steal it. Wow, is that lingo that you're familiar with, Obama? Eat a dick, Donald. All right, so these dumbasses just gave me all the information I need. I guess I just got to fly over to Slateport and go to the port there and see what's going on. Yeah, the enemy team lore just kind of sends you all over the place in the late game here in Emerald. You have to deal with the magma secret hideout, but the team Aqua stuff the hell is, all this? is the really time-consuming shit in this game. Uh, it's those goddamn reporters that follow you all over the map. I hate these two so much. They're actually super useful, Donald. They cycle over the same three places every time you beat them, so you can use them for infinite experience and money. First time on TV, huh? Well, you handled it like a complete pussy. Joe? But whatever, take me to your boat, please, before it gets stolen. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, it looks like we're a little late to the party, boys. Donald, please can't say those words in rapid succession. We could get taken down. Oh, chill out, oh, drama. I'm just reading off the screen. That's fine, isn't it? It would be, if that were at all what Nintendo were intending on saying when writing the dialogue here, but it's not even close. All right, real quick. I'm going to move Titan to the back of the party here. These fuckers were talking about jacking off a submarine or something. So I don't want Titan getting anywhere close to them. Joe, I'm amazed that you have so much awareness to do something like that, but equally amazed at how stupid the entire idea of needing to do that is. Uh, thank you, Donald. Jesus Christ, yeah, sure, you're welcome, Joe. All right, Joe, so fly us back to Lily Cove, and now you should be able to pass those two guards at the hideout you were at just a minute ago. You can actually get through the base super quickly if you wanted to but you should go through the whole thing for the training, but also because there's a master ball in there too. I got two master balls in my pants. Gross, Joe. Obama, I don't need a third one. Yeah, that's disgusting, Joe. But anyway, I know your lucky ass is gonna come across a shiny legendary at some point in this game, and you better not fucking ruin it for me. So you have to grab the master ball. Chill, chill, Donald. You have to at least pick up the master ball. In a Pokemon game, everybody knows that. I'm not an idiot. I beg to differ. All right, first battle of the day, and honestly, of like the month. Let's see what we got here. Are you fucking with me right, Meow? Right we now. are on the cusp of battling the seventh gym leader. The seventh fucking gym leader. And the guy guarding the front of the evil team's base has a single Puccina to hold down the entire first floor. 
What an absolute joke. Yeah, we've talked about this, Joe. These guys aren't even important enough to get names. I think their objective oh God, is more so just things. to stall us rather than actually threat our teams. Well, they shouldn't be worried about needing to stall us if they have these teleporters here. I'm literally not getting out of this place for another three hours. Great. Yeah, that's exactly what the viewers wanted to hear, Joe. It's actually not hard at all, I'd say. This place is actually less convoluted than the Magma hideout. Ooh, what's that? And that place, honestly, only took me like 15 minutes, Max. Yes, Obama, except the difference is you aren't mentally handicapped, and Joe is. So, not a fair comparison. All right, so fuck you for that comment, by the way, Donald. But moving on here. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just fantastic. Obama, can you find something to talk about? I'm going to be trapped here for a while. I can tell. Well, at least you're self-aware. I'll give you All right, you sure, that. I got you, boys. Did you all see the new TLC stuff for Scarlet and Violet? Did you just say TLC, oh. Obama? Obama, you need some TLC, my guy. Michelle not doing it for you. I hate both of you. I meant DLC. Don't worry, Obama. We both love you so much. Holy shit. Did you guys hear about the DLC? Oh, my God. I hate this shit so much. All right. Yeah, I heard about it, Obama. I saw some of the new Pokemon, and I heard they released that new Terra type, but I didn't actually read into the changes. Can you update me, please? Far left Joe. Okay. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, so there are a whole lot of additions here, Donald. I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but the big ones are the new Pokemon being added alongside their new signature moves, and then, of course, the new Terra thing. Yeah, so I saw the new Entei and the new Raikou, both of which look super mid, honestly. Yeah, I think Walking Wake is gonna outclass both of them, both design-wise and competitively speaking. Uh, Gouging Fire, which is the new Entei form, gets a new move that is basically a burn equivalent of Toxapex's Baneful Bunker, and then Raging Bolt, the new Raikou form, gets a new move, that is basically a special electric form of Sucker Punch, which is actually really good for it because it has a monstrous 137 special attack, but it's down to just 75 speed. Damn, so you're gonna sit here and tell me that even the Paradox form of Entei is gonna be shit compared to the others in his trio. Yeah, that's actually so lame. Flareon is shit compared to Vaporeon and Jolteon. Entei is shit compared to Suicune and Raikou. And now the new Entei is shit compared to the new other guys. Well, let's at least give it a chance first, boys. Uh, anyway, besides them, there's also the new paradox forms of Terrakion and Cobalion, both of which I am excited for, too. Yeah, no, they honestly both look mid, too, and neither of their new moves seemed interesting. They'll both be UU at best in a month. Okay, so this person just asked, which uniform do we think is cooler between Team Aqua and Team Magma? What are you guys thinking about How this many one? times am I going to have to say the word mid in this episode? I mean, look at these dumb asses. It looks like they just broke out of a prison from the 1800s. Yeah, honestly, the grunt outfits are both incredibly forgettable. But between the admins, especially in the later games, it really just comes down to whether or not you like Courtney or Shelley more, let's be honest. Oh, well, that's easy as hell then. No, 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 Obviously, no, no, you have no, to no. Go Joe, with shut on this the one, fuck man. up. We aren't doing this again. I don't remember if either of them are legal, so we're moving on. I'm giving us a different comment question because that one was dumb as hell. All right, fair enough, Donald. I can get behind that. Oh, well, you know who I could get behind? Absolutely abhorrent, Joe, but okay. Viewers, uh, what is your favorite spin-off Pokemon game? I think the boys and I here agree that Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is absolutely S-tier, but I'm interested in what everyone else has to say, too. Great question, Donald. Yeah, Explorers of Sky and, honestly, the Red and Blue Rescue Team were pretty sick, too. But for me, you guys might not see this one coming. It's actually the OG trading card game on the Game Boy Color. Pretty based, honestly, Obama can't lie. The TCG is what originally got me into the series, believe it or not. Obama, were, were you equally as pissed as I was when they converted the trading card game online to the trading card game live version like a year ago? Oh my God, don't even get me started, Donald. That shit is ass. What are you guys talking about? Well, Joe, it's the fact. Holy shit, I shouldn't have asked. Can I just say my favorite game now? Joe, I swear to God, if you say some stupid shit like Pokemon Troze or something. No, no, no. Of course, it's not Troze. The game is Booty Hole. 
My favorite game is actually a good one, I promise. All right, good. What is it then, Joe? My favorite spin-off game by far is Pokemon Dash on the Nintendo DS. Joe, you troll piece of shit. That is by far one of the worst things ever produced by Nintendo, let alone the Pokemon franchise. Yeah, there's no way you're not trolling, Joe. I think the whole Pokemon community agrees that Pokemon Dash is one of the worst Pokemon games ever created. And it's not necessarily Nintendo's fault. They were still experimenting with touchscreen game compatibility and nuanced All stuff right, like both that. of you are clearly blowing chunks out of your ass right now. Wow, that's a new one, Joe. Joe, I can assure you that is not what is happening Joe, right I would now. like you to take this double battle here to collect your thoughts about how on earth you think Dash is a good Pokemon game. Then please present your argument when we return to the viewers. All right, make it quick, Joe. We should actually talk about the upcoming battle here. We've like uh, avoided talking about the gameplay this whole time. Pokemon Dash was literally revolutionary. Cap. It transformed the idea of Pokemon by putting its own style on the rapidly popularized Mario Kart games of the time. And it did so terribly. And it even allowed you to create your own maps based on your party Pokemon of whatever Pokemon game you had in your GBA slot. Wait, really? Of your DS. That was like the coolest thing in the Just world kidding, to me. Just kidding, I don't care. How you could have both game slots interact with each other. All right, Joe, that was actually a much better argument than I was expecting. But uh, no, sorry, Pokemon Dash is still like a two out of 10 at best. Viewers, please let us know what your favorite spin-off game of the Pokemon series is. Anyway, Joe, looks like we're finally at a semi-important battle here. Yeah, finally doing something important and Ruby is beating the shit out of herself. That's great. Good job, girl. Donald, don't you have a fucking Big Mac to eat or something. Ruby is doing just fine. See, she took out the Mighty Anna, and now she even has plus two attack. Not that the attack boost matters in the slightest, considering this Golbat is gonna get one shot by Thunderbolt, and then the battle is over. Wait, this guy doesn't even have a Sharpedo on his team or anything? Isn't this guy like a boss battle? Yeah, no, this is a complete joke. All right, guys, from now on, no more unnecessary battles to train on. This game is way too fucking easy. All right, fair enough, Donald. Look, a little struggle would be nice, honestly. That makes me ever so more excited for the Platinum Hardcore Nuzlocke, implying Dilzan can actually stick to a schedule that is. All right, well, what the fuck do I do now? I thought I was gonna get a free submarine. If you actually thought that, you're an idiot. So now that dude playing with the Whalmers should be gone, Joe, so you can actually start heading east over to Moss Deep City. One of my favorite cities of the game, for sure. Okay, okay, real quick. I'm gonna go heal up the team first. And I actually wait. I remember reading something in the comments. We still haven't gotten the return TM from that one space nerd yet. I'm gonna go grab that and teach it to Minnie. She deserves it. Okay, well, go to the building at the top right of this city here because you need to delete, cut off Minnie's moveset first if you want to do that. Ooh, okay, good looks. Yeah, I'll do that first. Brock, there is no way you are enabling this tomfoolery. Joe, don't you fucking dare waste our return TM on many of all things. Minnie is a literal trash can. Donald, don't you talk about our team like that, you ass wipe. I'm serious, Joe. Give return to Mango. It'll be so much more useful on him. Kecleon is just a terrible Pokemon. I'd almost rather pick up one of our, of our Whismers out of the oh, box. Oh, well, we can certainly do that too, Donald. Something we can agree on here, huh? I take it back, I'm joking. Okay, first of all, no guys, we are not replacing anyone on the team with one of the Whismers in the box. Oh. Secondly, Donald, there are actually two return TMs in this game. There's the one Joe is picking up from Professor Cosmo right now. And there's actually one over down in Pacific Log Town we get for free. In fact, Joe, how about you make that the goal of the episode? Go surf over to Moss Deep, but then go get the second return TM. Then fly us back to Moss Deep and Donald can take over from there next episode. Sound good? Fine, all right, that actually sounds fine to me then. Okay, I will do that then, Obama. Actually, yeah, that works out really well because that means I will get to do the space station, Team Magma stuff in Moss Deep, maybe some other shit. 
but I'll be able to leave the gym to you, Obama, because you haven't been able to do a gym in a while. Okay, perfect. Glad we're on the same page then, boys. Okay, well, actually, I have one thing here then, boys. What is it, Joe? Please don't make it something retarded, Joe. God damn it, Donald. You have to stop saying that. Okay, so, so basically, Donald got me really excited just now. All right, pause. About wanting to add a whismer to the team. All right, double pause. And it got me thinking about Ice Spice. <laughs> And so that reminded me what the fuck of something that, else Joe? I've been wanting to do while on the call with you guys. Uh, Joe, could you just get on with it already? Donald's right. You're acting super sus right now. Hmm. Okay, okay, give me just a minute. I want to find it real quick. But I got to multitask here. Okay, there we go. We should be good now. Joe, what the fuck are you? Oh my God, Holy what the shit. hell is what this, the Joe? First image is that? It's Obama Spice. Are you feeling it? Honestly, I would totally munch that. Joe, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you for this. I've never felt prettier. Wow, that's like exactly the response I would expect you to have, Obama. What's that supposed to mean, Donald? It means you're a fucking woman. All right, all right, all right. I'm moving on here, boys. Looks like we're finally going into the open ocean. That is Gen 3's endgame. I honestly hate this part. If I had to be honest, I literally always get lost. While I'm not at all surprised by that last statement there, Joe, I don't even blame you for this one. I remember it took me like two hours just to fucking find Sudopolis City the first time around. They definitely could have directed you better than they did when it came to this part. Holy shit, this person has a goddamn Gyarados. Thankfully, you have a Thunderbolt machine over there, Joe. You'll be okay. But yeah, anyway, I'm right there with you guys. The fact that you got to dive around and then resurface in the right spots to get to both Suitopolis and that team Aqua Cave. Then you got to surf all over the place to get to Pacific Log, the Sky Tower, Moss Deep over here, even Victory Road, it's just too much. Yeah, I get what they were trying to do, especially considering the evil teams are based around the balance between the sea and the land but it ultimately just became inconvenient and overwhelming, in my opinion. Hey, Obama, what are the levels for the next gym leader? I believe it's a double battle that has a couple level 41s and a couple level 42s. It's a pretty hard battle, honestly, if you don't prep for it. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, Donald, if you need something to do during your next episode, you could go train in the trick house if you want. We probably have a couple puzzles we could knock out. No, Joe. God damn it. Your Alzheimer's cannot be this bad yet. I just told you we aren't doing any superfluous training. This game is way too goddamn easy. We need to challenge ourselves. If we are level 40 going into the Elite Four, I would be happy. Alrighty, I mean, level 40 for the Elite Four is a little extreme, but I get what you're saying, Donald. We owe it to both ourselves and the viewers. Now, what idiot would live to right here? To have some entertaining gameplay. Honestly. Holy shit, Hunter, what are you doing here? He's probably just trying to hide away from all the allegations. Donald, please, no political the talk. diving treasure, Hunter. Oh, Jesus Christ, Hunter. I know you've lived a rough life, but we don't need to go dumpster diving for treasures now. Just come home. All right, Joe. I honestly don't even know how to respond to that. Just take us into Moss Deep already so you can continue your journey down to Pacific Log Town. All right, well, say no more. Here we are. God, I love this place. Apparently, this guy doesn't. Yeah, what the hell is this NPC's problem? Well, he's a karate guy, and he lives in a town run by psychic gym leaders, so I don't really blame him. It's like that fighting dojo in Kanto that got terminated because of Sabrina and her psychic Pokemon. Yo, Dynamic Punch is such a sick move. I'm totally giving that to, uh, I think, many. Yeah, on one hand, Dynamic Punch is sick, but if you waste a move slot on Sky with a shit move like that, I'm gonna castrate you, Joe. All right, if anything, drop Psybeam for it, but I don't think Dynamic Punch is a good move at all. It has 50% accuracy. Yeah, but 50% of the time it works, 100% of the time Obama. Can't argue with that logic or Yes, I, that's not my name, Joe. Fuck off. But yes, I can argue with that logic. That's not even logic in the first place. It's just a bad grasp on statistics by using the number 100 and pretending like it means it's a good thing. All right, well, in exchange for teaching mini dynamic punch, that guy wants us to go ahead and beat the Moss Deep Gym using that move. So that's all on you, Obama. Don't let him down. All right, fine. 
If I remember to do that, I will, but it's gonna be a terrible move to have to use in that gym. Who knows? Obama, maybe it'll be the entire reason you managed to win it all. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, well, I wouldn't hold my breath for that one. All right, so from what I know, I just need to go as far south as it lets me, then go as far west as it lets me, until I hit the log town that I'm not gonna try to pronounce. Yeah, and don't waste your time battling too many people. Ooh, hello there, pretty lady. Would you like to battle? Jesus Christ, yeah, fuck me, I guess. Donald, it's a Pokemon game. Just let me battle the people I wanna battle, all right? Yeah, that's fine, Joe. Besides, we aren't rushing to finish anything this episode. But hopefully we can take care of it without any interruptions or mishaps. What's up, you fucking donuts? Oh, God damn it! that was completely your fault. Obama, you summoned this English bastard by saying that. Nice, Donald. Hey, Gordon, what's up? What are you doing here? Jesus Christ, Obama, what in the hell is that picture? Are you finally coming out or something? Uh, no, Gordon, it's just a joke. Ooh, Mango is paralyzed. I can finally click facade and kill everything. Right, I don't know what the fuck that means, but um, I wanted to say I, I'm, I'm hosting everyone for the... Uh, fantasy football finals next weekend uh, at my place and Obama if it works for you I'll be making pizzas for everyone would you want pizza hell yeah some Gordon Ramsay pizza that sounds sick I'd love some pizza Gordon oh well you can have a pizza this Gordon Ramsay dick Obama peace out bitch <laughs> <laughs> well, get body to Obama. you're joking me right now wait did you guys put him up to that no but I wish I did yo Dilzan add that one to the montage please do not make a montage of me getting ligament too late it's already in motion Obama wait so does this mean Gordon was joking about having us over for the fantasy playoffs because that would actually be sick if he invited us to his uh, place for food and football. Yeah, something tells me he was just planning an elaborate joke there. Joe, I don't think he actually has plans to host us, especially because he would have to host Ben Shapiro and Pokemon yeah, challenges. Yeah, I can't exactly blame him for not wanting to do Either that. Either way, that was a really stupid way for someone to just come in here for like 20 seconds. I think we can all agree on that one. Nope, just you, Obama, that was funny. Stay mad, Bozo. All right, whatever. Anyway, Obama, you were talking earlier about the new stuff in the DLC, but we didn't get too far with it. What else? Right, so we talked about a few of the new Paradox forms, but there's also a few new Pokemon entirely, too. Duraludon gets a new evolution, which is literally just a bridge, and it seems like it's going to be incredibly broken. Well, I think the broken part about it is that Ooh, my lovely Sharpedo, I, I, I wish you could be on our team. Here we go again. Anyway, I think the broken part is that Duraludon is now going to be able to hold an Eviolite, which is complete nonsense if you ask me. Like of all Pokemon, why does that one need an evolution? Yeah, Pokemon just loves to give evolutions to Pokemon that definitely don't need it. And it's been like that forever, like when Chansey got an evolution in Gen 2. How the hell? Does a Chin Chow outspeed Minnie? Because Minnie sucks why the donkey hell nuts, Joe. Does everyone just love confusing Ruby? Yeah, I don't know, Joe. And it looks like, based off that animation, we have a lot of work to do when it comes to Minnie's friendship if we want Return to be a good move on her. It'll never be a good move on her because nothing's a good move on a Keckley on Obama. All right, whatever. So Obama, there's a metal bridge dragon or some shit coming, what else we got? All right, so this metal bridge dragon thing gets a new signature move, Electroshot, which is kind of like Meteor Beam, but it's 100% accurate and is electric type. It also becomes a one turn move in the rain. So this thing really does seem insane on a rain team with its stats typing and new move. Sheesh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be pretty fun to watch in some draft battles. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I wonder if they're already in random battles on Showdown. Oh, fuck the random battles. We have to still do that series next to, don't we? Yeah, Joe, we got to get back on the ladder there, too. But viewers, don't worry. We're still planning on continuing that series soon. Yeah, for those curious, we actually already have the gameplay recorded for it. It's a long one with some good battles. So if you've been following that series, look forward to it. Holy shit, speaking of long ones. Oh my God, Joe, please don't make a penis joke. This is an unbelievably long route here. Okay, that's fine. To get to this goddamn place. Well, interestingly, Joe, it's actually like five different routes you gotta get through. For some reason, they decided to make this whole horizontal stretch 
before Pacific Log, like four different rote numbers. Uh, Obama in what fucking world is that interesting? Eat my ass, Donald. No need to be a dick about it. Right, that's disgusting. And anyway, Obama, I saw a picture of a new Applin evolution. What's going on with that one? Oh, right. So this one is really cool. Its name is Hydrapple, and it's like a seven-headed apple dragon that hits really hard, and it has a new move called Fickle Beam, which is an 80 base power dragon move that has a 30% chance of just randomly doubling in power. It has the potential for some super gimmicky shit, which I love to mess around Yeah, with. but that also just sounds like even more RNG that's gonna screw me over on the ladder, but all right. So I'm assuming that's all the important new Pokemon. Obama, can you finally talk about this new Terra shit going on? That's all I really care about, if I'm being honest. Okay, sure thing, Donald. So the new Terra type is the Stellar type, and it is associated with the new legendary Pokemon, Trapagos. Oh, Jesus, is this thing gonna be broken? Is it like the Legends plate in Legends of Arceus? No, not even close, and I don't think it's gonna be very broken, Joe. It doesn't look like it has broken stats, movesets, or abilities like the Ubers we've seen in recent past. All right, Obama, enough of this. How the fuck does the Terra Stella work? Right, okay. So basically, guys, oh, it's, it's Joe, please. Oh, why, hello there, Anna and Meg. Joe, shut the fuck up about Anna and Meg, please. But I absolutely love these two. Oh, my God, Meg definitely has the buns. Anna, don't you Holy worry shit, about Holy shit, you can't say Joe, that out loud, no Joe. there is no fucking way you just said that you literally have no idea who these people are. Of course I do. Donald, that's senior and junior. Anna and Meg from Route 117. They have a level 17 Zigzagoon. What the fuck? And a level 19 Makuhita. Joe, why do you know all and this? And they give you 544 Poke Dollars when defeated. This is the knowledge that he gains directly upon smelling their hair. It's stored directly in his olfactory database. I'm just glad he was too distracted by Anna and Meg to see what this swimmer said when she approached But us. seriously, Joe, if anything that you just said is true about those two minors, I'm calling Child Protective oh, Services. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, no. Donald, I made it all up. I don't even know who Hannah and Morgan even are. That's incredibly suspicious, Joe. Uh, oh, wow, look, a battle better cut around this. All right, whatever, Joe. Okay, cool, you're in Pacific Log Town now. Walk around real quick and find the return TM. While you're doing that, I'm gonna finally finish this discussion on the new Terra thing. So anyone can have Stellar as their new Terra type. What it does now is you will still remain whatever your original type was defensively, but offensively, you will get a 20% boost on any move that you click regardless of the type. However, that will only work once per each type. Also, just like with normal Terra, you still get the 2x boost if you click a move that matches your original type. Next, you drop one stage in both attack and special attack after clicking Terra Blast as this type. So it will be really good on Contra users. Lastly, Terra Blast as this type is neutral against everything, but super effective against any mon that is already terastalized. All right, thanks, nerd. I got it anyway. Thank you, Joe. Go ahead and teach that to Mango. I guess you can teach it over wing attack. All right, we'll do, Donald. Hey, did anyone see that dumbass? that was trying to trade me a whore. A what? See in exchange for a bag oh, right, on. horsey. Like I would ever be dumb enough to make that trade. Yeah, anyway, thanks for the information, Obama. Wow, you're welcome. Obama, glad you appreciate it. Oh my God, you're such a loser, Obama. But yeah, I get it all now, thank you. That might be helpful for us to know in the random battles climb. Wait, what might be helpful for us to know for the climb? All the shit that Obama just talked about regarding the new Terra type. Wait, there's a new Terra type? Jesus Christ, Joe. Holy shit, yeah. I'm not repeating all that shit again, guys, Joe. You're just gonna have to figure it out on your own. Maybe I can get Anna and Meg to explain it to me. Jesus Christ, all right, Joe? Just heal up the team and fly us back to Moss Deep, please, so I can go from there next episode. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and sign us off here, boys. Viewers, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking around until the end. I know we haven't been very active lately, but the editor has decided he's not gonna keep coming up with excuses as to why there are inconsistent breaks between episodes. So these are hard to make, and he is prioritizing quality 
over everything else. He'd like to say he's doing his best. Uh, uh, sometimes it's not easy to always do your best. And that's just how life is. Wow, that's pretty deep, Obama. You want to quit with the pussy talk and just tell him to subscribe already? Whatever fuck you, Donald. Hey, but yeah, make sure to hit subscribe if you aren't yet. There's still a chance we can hit 5,000 before the end of the year, which would be the coolest Christmas gift we could ask for. Also, make sure to comment on your favorite spin-off game in the Pokemon series. I think that's pretty much it. Leave a like if you're liking the series, and we'll catch you all in the next Showdown episode coming soon. Peace out. <laughs>